Welcome to Tennessee Buck Outdoors. Today we're making ham and taters in the Dutch oven. Stay tuned, I think you're going to like it. One of the first things you want to do since we're using <clears throat> these baby red potatoes and what we want to do is just we're going to cut them in half throw them in here on these right here I'm going to cut them long ways so I'm going to cut these up and I'll be right back all right now I'm going to hit them <clears throat> excuse me with a little oil and I just do them in a little more than a little bit. I'm going to toss them around till they're all got, got old. All right. Now, you can use any kind of seasoning that you want, but I'm going to use Mrs. Dash. It has worked so well in the past. It is an old salt. Let's mix them around here. Just a little bit more. All right. Now what we're going to do Put them in the Dutch oven. Of course, as you can see, I got a liner in it. The potatoes is going to be. I'm gonna get some as much of this out if I can. The potatoes is going to be a liner for the uh, ham, so it doesn't burn on the bottom. So now let's work on the ham. All right, I've got a boned-in ham that I'm going to be. We're going to be cooking today. I'm going to turn this sucker over. There is some fat right here. But we're going to try to slice some of it off. Some of this fat. Don't need it. Shave a little bit off, shave a little bit off. Alright. Looks about right for me. Okay. Let me get this one piece right here. Come on, get out of there. Now, what we're going to do is add some brown sugar. We're going to turn this bad boy back over because that's how we're going to sit it in there. We're just going to smear it in all the way around it. Now a lot of people would probably do it different than me, but I'm the one doing this, well, so there you go. Alright. Next. I've got a little bit of pineapple left. What we're going to do We're going to fix it so it'll look pretty. Bet you're saying, good golly, Miss Molly. Show like the ball.
Yeah, we'll get it there. Now these are pieces I had left over. That is fine, fine, fine. Oop, got one right here. Yeah, we'll double stick it. Alright. Next we come the cherries. cherries on it. We want it to look pretty. Pretty outrageous, I know that. Let's use this last one right here. We'll put a couple of more cherries on it. Set this right here. Bring the Dutch oven back over. We're going to set our ham right there. All right, let's take her out there and heat her up. All right, let's make this a ring. Chances are we'll have to add more coal later, but for right now, looks like we're going to be doing pretty good. This is a big ham, and we want it to cook, so we will make sure that it will cook. Now some of these coals are not completely lit yet, but they will. That's how come I'm getting it started early. For that reason. So they will catch. take so we'll come back and check on it all right it's been about 30 minutes and we're just going to go halfway with this way Halfway this way. All right, we'll come back and check it out. While. 
Okay, let's take a look. Look at that. I think I'm gonna have to take a picture of that. Hold on. All right. Looks pretty good. I'm gonna have to have some. This is going to be hot. That is so good. That is so, so good. Let's try the potatoes. Anyway, I hope you like it. Hope you try it. Like I always say, tell your friends about us. Subscribe. Hit the like. Leave a comment. Ring the bell. And do a little dance. This is Jeff from Tennessee Buck Outdoors. And we'll see you next time.